Welcome to my channel. If we haven't met, I'm Kari Greger. Hey, how you doing? I'm really glad you're here. Today, I'm making delicious vegan hot dogs. Let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do is chop up some onions and some garlic. We need three quarters of a cup of chopped onions and three teaspoons of minced garlic. Stir fry this over medium high heat on the stove until the vegetables are softened and browned a little bit. Now I fry without oil, so I'm using water to spray on to loosen the nice and brown flavored bits. I also use the lid so that it steams the vegetables in their own juice. Once these are cooled and nicely browned, add them to the blender. To this, I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of cooked pinto beans, drained and rinsed, two tablespoons of soy sauce or coconut aminos, two tablespoons of olive oil, this is optional, and two tablespoons of coconut oil, this is also optional. You can add two tablespoons of water. Add up to half a cup of water if you're emitting the oil. Add half a teaspoon of liquid smoke. One tablespoon of tomato paste. Two teaspoons of smoked paprika. One teaspoon of ground coriander. One teaspoon of ground mustard. Half a teaspoon of sugar, that's optional half a teaspoon of ground pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, also optional, half a teaspoon of celery seed, a quarter teaspoon of mace. Put on the cover and take it to the blender. Try this recipe without the oil. Then, if you find that the wieners are too dry, you can add in just as much oil as you feel is necessary. Actually, this is the first time I've used oil in this recipe. Basically, I put it in there because I thought you might want to have some oil in the wieners for those people, if you're having people over that are not plant-based, it's a good way to impress them. Look how good our hot dogs are. And you know, there's just a little bit of plant-based oil in there instead of the drenched with fat that the regular wieners are, because that's what they expect. So they're gonna expect a little bit more rich flavor. It's a stupid idea, Charlie. Well, I'm sorry, you have a better plan? Now, if you have gotten used to no salt, no sugar, no fat in your food, great, leave it out. You don't need it in this recipe. These are delicious hot dogs without it. I've, I've given you options in the recipe below, so check that out. Remember, when you make it yourself, you have total control over the fat, salt, and sugar. Worldwide total control in an instant. Good information? Give me a thumbs up below, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when another recipe is posted. Puree the mixture until the seeds are all smashed up and you don't have any bits visible. You see, this makes a nice paste it's very flavorful and fragrant. That's the consistency you want. The last time I made these hot dogs, I put the rolled oats in and they didn't get mixed in. There was chunks of rolled oats. So I'm going to use my fancy little spin chopper and cut them down to size so that I don't have chunks of rolled oat visible or as big. You know, I don't want a whole rolled oat flake. So I'm going to just make it sort of a coarse oat flour, really. So a little bit of texture is okay, but those chunks of oat flakes, that was not attractive. How long before the judgment day? Before we cut the fat ones down to size. To the Take one cup of vital wheat gluten, one third cup of the oatmeal that has been chopped, one tablespoon of ground flaxseed, and two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Mix these dry ingredients together. Pour the paste from the blender into a mixer with a dough hook. 
I'm going to put the guard on because I'm going to gradually add the dry mixture to this until it forms a dough. So just a little bit in, a little bit in, and it'll knead it into a nice dough. You can mix this by hand just as you would a bread dough. Once you have the whole dry mixture, all the dry ingredients incorporated, you'll get a thick dough, almost like a bread dough. See, you can see what I mean about those oat flakes. They don't disintegrate. They just end up being the chunks. This is still not too bad uh, with oat flakes. Can you see how the um, gluten is taking form? So after I let it rest for a few minutes, the gluten is completely formed. Oh, look at the oil. There's so much oil in this. You know, I haven't made this before with the oil, so this is kind of annoying. I'm not used to it. <laughs> I'm singing in the oil. I'm singing in the oil. Okay, I'm going to cut this into even sections. This amount of dough I should be able to get about eight hot dogs out of. Let's just see what that works out size-wise. I want it to be the right size to fit into a bun. So I make them into, roll them into wieners, and I'm going to take my measuring tape and check to see. I want like a six inch hot dog. This is about five and a half. I'm going to have to roll it a little bit more to lengthen it. I think that that's about the right thickness. They're not going to rise. They're not going to swell. So what you, what you, the size that you want, that's what you make them. So if you've got some buns, I would, you know, check it and see how it, how it looks next to the bun for size-wise. Put it into parchment or tin foil and fold it around tightly and then twist the ends. The parchment, you, want to, you might want to take a piece of string or something like that to tie the ends down so it doesn't open up. That end, when you twist the ends, it makes it look like a wiener. So I'm going to divide the rest of the dough up. I can see it is going to be eight hot dogs that I get out of this amount of dough. Shape them into wieners and fold them into the tin foil, twisting the ends. This stuff is so greasy. I don't know whether I like it with the oil in it. It sure is not as nice to handle. Put the rack down in your Instant Pot or whatever you're going to be using to steam these. You'll probably have to steam it a little bit longer if you don't have the pressure. So I put the uh, two cups of water underneath so it comes up just underneath the rack, not over top, and put my foils full of wieners into the Instant Pot, crisscrossing them and space between so that we let the steam go in between. Put that lid shut and make sure that you have the valve over to seal. You want to seal the pressure. Holy steam valve. Sorry, sir. It just slipped out. Now we're going to set this. I'm setting it on steam and I'm choosing a high pressure and adjusting the time with the plus and minus symbols. We're going to do this for 25 minutes. So that steam adjust to get the correct pressure and plus and minus to arrive at 25 minutes. There we go. After 25 minutes, look what we've got. Now I let this cool a little bit so I could handle it. And yeah, they're still too hot to handle. So take them out, let them cool. And now I'm going to package these for the freezer. Unroll them. They'll be nicely cooked. You can see the oil, the oil pooling on everything. Ugh. After all that work and toil, I'm just slipping in the oil. I know where I've been sent. I'm covered in lubricant. I don't know that I'm ever going to make these with oil again. Well, we'll find out in the taste test what it turns out like. I can put two in a piece of wax paper and make sure that you've got wax paper between the wieners, then wrap them up in the wax paper 
force the air out of the plastic bag and seal it. Then all it's left to do is write the date and what's inside. And that's for my freezer. Now, let's try a few of these hot dogs. You can put them on the grill. I have got one hot dog here from a previous batch that has no oil. So the one in the middle, you see it's a little bit lighter in color. It has no oil in it. So let's just see how they cook. The ones on the ends, on the outside, they are a little darker in color. They seem to be toasting up the same. The one in the middle almost looks like a, a baked bread crust. But look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? I tell you, you've got hot dogs and it's not a carrot boiled in some liquid smoke. Well, let's just find out if all this oil was worth it. I got one of the hot dogs that you saw on the grill was of course the one that I had done last year. It probably had a little bit of freezer burn, but in my experience, these ones are pretty dry. But the insides are not so dry, they're moist. And I'm gonna try the one without the oil first. It's the one I'm more used to. Hmm. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, this one is much easier to break open with my hands. There's a little bit more moisture there, a more of a richness, that kind of a thing. But unless I had them side by side, I probably couldn't tell the difference. The, um, the one without the oil looks drier. Um, the one with the oil, a little softer. All in all, I think you would do fine just to leave the oil out. Actually, I'm vegan. Okay, then pretend this shoe is whatever you people eat. Well, if you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up below, leave a comment, let me know if you try these hot dogs, and next video is going to be something you need for desserts, vegan whipped cream. So, while you're down there, click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you know when another recipe is posted. Thank you for watching.